So, do your developers hate you as well? Oh, we're actually loved here. What? Yeah, they actually listened to their audience and made the changes that people have been waiting for. Really? Like what? Well, our favorite enemy changed to give us unique passive features instead of advantage wisdom saves and learning a language. Oh, but, but it's still tailored to one enemy, huh? That's the neat part. We get to use them for all enemies now. What? I know. Uh, what about our natural explorer feature? Oh, you mean the thing that also gives us unique passive features instead of the other forgotten crap we had? No way. Yes way. Oh, thank the Gods, our features are so situational, we barely get to use them. Because no one ever plays you? Well, you didn't have to attack me like that. Oh, speaking of attacking, the hunter subclass now gets the volley and whirlwind attack at level 11 instead of just choosing one. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. Can, can I hop over there and join you? Uh, no, you'll taint me with your bad development, you sorry excuse for a ranger. Oh, and Gloomstalker has some changes as well. Dread Ambusher now gives you a plus three to your initiative instead of using your wisdom modifier. And Umbral Sight now gives you superior dark vision if you already have dark vision. Man, that all sounds really cool. Please just let me be a part of your world. It sucks over here. Oh, well that's fitting for you then. Okay, moving on. At level three, we always have Disguise Self ready. Level five, we switched out Rope Trick for Misty Step. And Iron Mind now gives you proficiency in your intelligence and wisdom saving throws. Wow. <laughs> it really sounds like you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, we do. Unlike the ones who created you. Can't wait for 2024 edition where the last of the books come out in 2025. It's very depressing over here right now. I just really want you to know that. Well, you know what isn't depressing anymore? The Beast Master subclass. No way, they fixed it? Yeah, it actually makes sense here. My people make sure that every class is strong and playable here, unlike where you're stuck at. We all know who I'm talking about. I haven't said who, but we all know. So, how, how did they fix the worst subclass in D&D? Well, to start off, we have this feature called Summon Companion to aid us when we need them. Oh, so we just get a glorified Find Familiar then. How special. Oh, it is special. We can use the feature and the spell, so technically Rangers could have two companions at the same time. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, but our options are limited for our companion choice, obviously for video game purposes. Aww. But in return, each companion now has unique stats instead of monster stats. Well, that's what we've been asking for. We can also swap out or resummon our companion once per short rest. No way. They get our proficiency bonus in attack rolls, damage rolls, saving throws, and armor class. Uh, what? They also get additional hit points, abilities, and increased ability scores when they level up. Stop, I'm gonna explode. And now the thing everyone's been waiting for. Our companion goes on its own initiative and it doesn't take our action to command it. Yeah. Now how's that for a ranger? Oh dude, it's everything I can imagine being, especially for Beastmaster. Like, why do I have to use my action to tell my trained beast what to do, but someone can cast Conjure Animals, which doesn't require an action to tell that untrained creature what to do? Right. No more being crapped on. Figuratively and physically. I'm really not loved here. My gosh. Okay, listen, all jokes aside, this is actually a big win for us. Things are actually getting better. <laughs> Heck yeah, we are. Stay over there. This calls for a celebration. After everything we've been through, we're finally catching our big break. I promise you, Rangers are finally making it to the top. Yeah, Rangers are finally on top. Woo! The Rangers realized they won that day, but this was just the battle. The war still continues for 5th edition Ranger. His innocent mind still doesn't know that his one D&D 5.5 of 6th edition counterpart was written in 100% pure horseshit.